Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are here in our retail store in Seattle, Washington, and today's video we are focusing on how to eat dark chocolate. But before we even do that, what is dark chocolate? So, for an example, I have an 85% Theo dark chocolate bar. So, 85%. That means, for Theo, 15% of that is gonna be sugar, about that much, and the rest is cocoa nib. See that right there? About 15% sugar or so, the rest nib. That's what makes up a dark chocolate bar. So I actually got some 85% chocolate cooking up in the lab. Let's go eat it, but we gotta cut through the factory first. Come on. All right, welcome to the chocolate lab. Now, like I mentioned, I have some 85% dark chocolate cooking up in the melanger here. If you don't know what a melanger is, it's basically an at-home chocolate maker. So if you wanna make chocolate in your apartment, your home, wherever you live, all you need is one of these bad boys. I have gone ahead and molded us off some 85% dark chocolate bars. So let's get to eating. When the average person eats their dark chocolate, they just break it off and chew it and that's totally fine. We actually asked some Theo fans how they eat their dark chocolate, and this is what they said. I'm a chewer. I'm a melter. Mm -hmm. I chew it first. Yeah, yeah I definitely chew, uh, chew my chocolate. When you chew it, it's drier and like crunchy, and then the bitter comes out afterwards. Not really particularly sweet. And that's a totally fine way to eat your chocolate. If that's your jam, go for it. But if you want to squeeze all the flavor out of your chocolate, the trick is let it melt. That's the best way to get all the flavor. So I hope you're watching this video with chocolate bar in hand. I got my bar. Go ahead and break off a little piece and let it melt. Take your time with it. Slow down with it. Move it all around your palate, the back, front, left side, right side. About 10, 12 seconds in, it'll start to blossom. Eating chocolate is like chasing wine. There's a beginning, middle, and an end. So for me, just like right there, it's getting kind of nutty, get kind of fruity notes. Again, this is our 85% dark chocolate bar, and all the cocoa comes from the Congo. So all this middle flavor I'm getting is from these Congolese beans. By letting it melt, it tastes creamy. If you chew the chocolate, you just get that upfront bitterness, which again, if that's your jam, that's totally cool. But we actually asked those same Theo fans what they think when they let their chocolate melt, and this is what they said. When you let it melt, it starts out really sweet, and the bitter isn't as strong and it gets all smooth and creamy instead of being kind of chalky when you chew it. Like when I do it, it's less bitter, you know what I mean? It's like smoother. It's more full. There's a lot more going on. Consider yeah. my mind blown. See, it changes everything when you let your chocolate melt. So, I hope you're enjoying your chocolate. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you enjoy the video, go ahead and click that little subscribe button, give us a like, give us a comment, and keep coming back for more chocolate videos. Oh, God. Well, 